Well, folks, of course, Nintendo announced the Nintendo Switch 2, or as they're calling it officially at this point, the Switch successor today. And in doing that, it has obviously kind of taken down the floodgates with a lot of rumors and leaks. And while we're not going to revisit a bunch of those old rumors and leaks today, uh, that is something we'll go over a bit later. We'll talk about what our plans are for that. We're actually got some new stuff that has come out today. And first, we just want to recap what the heck is going on and what we're talking about. So first, we got to head on over to the original announcement. This is where Furukawa did his thing and told us about the Switch 2 and the next Nintendo Direct. So that is something that we've already known about and already previously reported on. But there was some additional context given. And I want to note uh, something about this context because it comes from the actual call they did talking to investors and taking questions. Uh, and this is where David Gibson put out a translation saying, in the results call when asked if the next generation console was brand new, uh, or what Furukawa answered and said, switch next model is the appropriate way to describe it. Now, I just want to note here that David Gibson does actually attend these calls, but his translations have been, I don't want to say inaccurate in the past, but the exact wording isn't typically what it is. He's paraphrasing a lot, uh, but it does seem that Furukawa, at least in some form, indicated that Nintendo Switch 2 is essentially another Switch-like device, which is exactly what all the rumors have said. Uh, but we have some new rumors for you today, uh, one coming from Central Leaks, another one coming from PH Brazil. The PH Brazil stuff may be the more interesting of this, but Central Leaks has a pretty good reputation with their primary leak sources. So we're going to head on over to Central Leaks because, yes, it's Pokemon related. New leak. Our well-known Pokemon leaker claims that three Pokemon projects have already been greenlit for the Switch successor. Goes on to say, including that project that project, whatever it means. Uh, they're guessing it means probably Generation 10. But uh, yeah, it seems that the Pokemon company is getting a jump start on games for the Nintendo Switch 2, which does make some sense here uh, in many regards because, well, if you're going to support the platform, one thing Pokemon company uh, didn't do as well with Switch was give enough development time to games. They were late coming to Switch. I think they're going to be late coming to Switch 2 as well. But I do believe that they're trying to put more development time into their games they have coming. Uh, three games, don't know if they're spinoffs, don't know what they are, but that's pretty exciting. And I'm just really glad to see that happening. Now, the next leak comes from PH Brazil. Uh, for those who don't know who he is, it's Pedro Henrique. Uh, he goes by Brazil online. He was one of the original people that ended up breaking the news about all the delays for Nintendo Switch 2 to March of 2025. And he also was the person that was a little bit off when he was talking about how the plan was going to be for an indie world, and then there was supposed to be a Direct in April or something like that. And obviously, we now have Nintendo Direct in June. It didn't happen in April. We're in May. Whatever. Uh, he was off on that stuff, but he has a lot of other outlets corroborating his report about the Nintendo Switch 2 March delay. So he decided that, you know what, I'm going to stop beating around the bush. Uh, almost all of his reports are in Spanish and in Brazilian, and that is where he puts out a lot of his stuff. Well, this time around, is it Portuguese? Maybe it's Portuguese is the exact language. I can't remember. Either way, it's in a foreign language that's not English, and because of that, uh, it doesn't always get translated quite well in English. He said, you know what, I'm going to put out a video in English going over everything I've actually been told up to date through today. And I find this video to be fascinating. You guys can check it out if you want. We'll link it down in the description. But I'm going to give you guys the summary bullet points I got out of it. So uh, one thing is he talks about the June Direct and Nintendo's plans for games in the second half of this year. He knows about some of the games, but he's not going to give the names of them. He's just going to let them be surprises. But he does want to note that there's going to be even more remasters coming in that June Direct for later this year. Not really a surprise. I think a lot of us expected this anyways. But hey, uh, that obviously just gets speculation rolling on what remasters is going to be, even though a lot of people were already speculating on that anyways. Next up, he says that the Direct, that Nintendo Direct in June, is planned to be the final Nintendo Switch Direct. Now, if you think about that, it makes a lot of sense. They already said they're going to be announcing the new platform at some point during this fiscal year. So yeah, you do this final direct you get the lineup set for the rest of the year and then everything after that is about nintendo switch 2. 
Then he says he has heard a few rumblings on possible partner direct later this year, but he doesn't seem as locked in, and that stuff could be all wrapped up in Switch 2 announcements and stuff. So not really 100% there on what's up with that. And then he does say that he's aware of multiple multi-platform third-party games that have reveal plans for Switch 2 later this year. So he's essentially indicating by saying that, that if all these developers have plans to reveal their games for Switch 2 in the second half of this year from summer onwards, that Nintendo clearly will be announcing the system at some point during this calendar year. Now, setting all of that aside, one of the biggest things people want to know about is that March time frame. And he says, as far as he's aware, and he has checked with his sources quite recently, the Nintendo Switch 2 is still planned, even after this announcement by Nintendo, to release in March of 2025, and that date has not changed with these third-party developers. There's been no update to them, and that is very fascinating because obviously Nintendo didn't concretely put out there, we are releasing this platform by the end of this fiscal year. That is not what they said, but I've seen some people even cast out because Nintendo's profit margins are projected to be 20 percent lower than they were this last fiscal year but here's the thing one nintendo's fiscal years have been like the most profitable nintendo's ever been over the last four years so they're already insanely high but setting that aside i do want to remind people that a release in march wouldn't tangibly affect the profit margins one systems are usually the least profitable at launch right the systems are the most expensive to manufacture and you're only going to sell especially in the month of march you might sell two three million of it which is a lot of units in a given month but not a lot for a fiscal year not a lot that would make a massive impact on overall margins for profits and, and, and on top of that they're not going to be that profitable in the first place plus let's say 3d mario does go on or, or mario kart does go on to sell 20 30 40 million units at some point that's not going to happen in the first month when there's only two three million systems in existence so we do have to remember that the profit margins are naturally going to be lower at launch anyways especially if it's in march there's not a lot of time that also doesn't take into account that there is the possibility that once they announce this system, they could do things like price drop the Nintendo Switch this holiday, which would also make their profit margins on those systems lower. So there are other things that could impact the fact that the revenue could be 20% lower uh, and the profit margins could be. Also, one thing you're not considering is last year, we literally had the Mario movie come out right now. There is no stated movie coming out from Nintendo this year either. So if there's no movie coming out during this fiscal year, that too is going to mean your profit margins are lower. So in the end, uh, all of this seems pretty explainable by normal business means. And I don't think really has anything to do with whether or not a platform comes out this March. I know I want to believe it's coming out March. And these are just rumors that haven't been verified. The only thing we know for sure is Nintendo's announcing the system by the end of March, and that is really cool. We can argue they technically announced it today, but I think we all know what Nintendo means when they say announcement. It probably means showing the system, giving us the name of the system, features, you know, marketing the damn thing. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I know there are some people that don't think the system's going to be revealed. It's fine to be pessimistic, uh, let alone release by March, uh, but I tend to lean towards that. Well, if Nintendo's trying to talk about this bad boy now, they clearly want this thing out. Uh, they know it's going to affect their bottom line. They know some people will you know, not buy Switch because they're waiting. So I'm just saying that, hey, uh, I think Nintendo knows what they're doing. And Furukawa is a mad lad, man. Uh, the way he's been handling Nintendo going into this transition is so different from the way Iwata did things. Uh, Nintendo used to never comment on rumors or whatever. Now they commented on rumors, you know, last year. Uh, notably, they haven't denied any of the rumors that have happened this year or happened lately. So I find that to be interesting, right? They haven't denied the March stuff. They haven't denied any of it uh, lately. So I find that to be interesting. I think that uh, Furukawa is awesome. Also, just as a reminder... Uh, he announced the Nintendo Direct for June. This is the longest lead-up to a Direct that's ever happened at Nintendo. The longest time they've ever given us for a Nintendo Direct uh, to be hyped. There must be a reason for that. And I think a lot of it's because they just doesn't want Switch 2 expectations at the Direct. It's going to happen anyways. What I will also throw out, and we're going to be doing this in a little bit, 
Uh, we're going to be going live today at 5 p.m. Central Time. Might already be after you've watched this video. Uh, we're going to be doing a six-hour live stream, uh, just hyping and talking about going over the rumors, talking about the Switch 2, talking about the Direct, and yes, deep diving into the Nintendo's financials. So if you guys are looking for all that information, it's going to come in our live stream. And we also have, naturally, a massive podcast tomorrow with so much to talk about. It's going to be one of our most packed episodes in a long time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Rebel Jance from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you in the next video.